Hi, welcome to Physics Teacher, the channel that prepares you for the Waterloo Math and Science Contest. This is a grade 10 Math Cayley Contest question. And in it, we have certain integers m and m which satisfy these conditions. And we need to find how many pairs of m and m will make this expression of 3 to the m plus 7 to the n divisible by 10. Give it a try and I'll be right back with the solution. Okay, so first, to figure out if anything is divisible by 10, you have to look at the ones digit. If the ones digit is a zero, then it's divisible by 10. So let's start by looking at three to the power of m. So if you were to write these out to try and find a pattern, three to the power of one is three, three to the power of two is nine, three to the power of three is 27, and we're just trying to find a pattern. So take a look at these and see if you see any patterns emerging, specifically in the ones digit. Can you see a pattern emerging in the ones digit as I'm now running out of room? There's definitely a pattern, right? We have three, nine, seven, one, three, nine. And if you were to continue, this pattern would continue of three, nine, seven, one, three, nine, seven, one, and so on. And this is going to continue forever because when you're looking at the ones digit and you're multiplying integers together, you only care about the ones digits that you're multiplying. And since the ones digit is three, nine, seven, one, once we repeat back to three and we keep multiplying by a factor of three, that one digit is just going to repeat over and over and over again. Now our value for m needs to be between 1 and 100. That means starting at 3 to the power of 1, going all the way up to 3 to the power of 100, 25 numbers will have a ones digit of 3, 25 numbers will have a ones digit of 9, and 25 numbers will have a ones digit of 7 and one. All right, so let's see if we can see a similar pattern if we do powers of seven. So give that a try. And when you do it, you will find a similar pattern. Your ones digit will repeat seven, nine, three, one, seven, nine, three, one, and so on forever. Doing seven to the power of n. Now, n is in between 100 and 205. So at 101, you're going to have the ones digit of 7. And that will give you 26 values with a ones digit of 7, 9, 3, and 1, all the way up to 204. But then we have one more 205, which will be one extra value with the one digit of 7. So we'll have 27. Uh, numbers that have the one digit as 7, 26 as 9, 26 as 3, and 26 as 1. Now what we want are the ones digit from 3 to the m plus the ones digit of 7 to the n to equal 10. That way our new ones digit is a 0 and it's divisible by 10. Now there's four ways that this can happen. The first way is if we have 3 to the m to have the ones digit to be 3. And we have 25 possibilities for that to happen. And if that is mixed with a 7 in our 7 to the m, then we will have the 3 plus the 7 equal 10, and so that number will be divisible by 10 and we have a total of 27 digits where that is the case. All right, so another option is to have our three to the M option, have a ones digit of nine, and our seven to the N option to have a, a ones digit of one. Those will add to 10. 
And so we have a total of 25 and 26 numbers for those options. Okay, we're going to continue. There's two more options. The third one is if 3 to the m gives us 7, and 7 to the n has our one digit as a 3. Again, we have 25 options for the m and 26 options for the n. And our last possible option is if we have 3 to the m having a ones digit of 1, and 7 to the n having a ones digit of 9. Again, 25 and 26 options. All right, so if we look at the total number of possibilities that we're going to have here, for case 1, we can mix and match 25 with 27 numbers to get that ones digit of 0. And we can do the same by mixing and matching uh, case 2, 3, and 4, which are all 25 times 26. So we'll have three combinations of this 25 times 26, with a total combinations then of 2,625. So our answer is E.